Have you ever heard that the unborn baby in the mommy's womb is just a parasite? And that if you have an abortion, it's totally fine because it's just living off the mom like a parasite. Well, let's check this out. Does it fit the bill of a parasite? Hey, what's up, guys? This is Daniel from iapologia.com, where science, reason, and Christianity meet. I want to give you six reasons why the unborn are not parasites. They're different, totally different types of things. The first criteria is quite obvious, and that's number one, is that the parasite lives off of a different species. You see, the unborn and mommy are both in the same species, i.e. human being. The second item is, is it a detriment to the host? You see, a parasite is a detriment to the host. The unborn is not. Actually, it is a help to the host because it helps in procreation or reproduction, which is a good thing. So you ask, why is it a good thing? Well, think about it this way. If your mother never had you or never got pregnant, you would not even be here checking out the answer to this question. Parasites are invasive into the host. The unborn is not that way. Actually, the unborn comes from the inside. It comes from mom's egg, which is released from the inside, and mom, dad's sperm, obviously from the outside. Most of the cellular content is from the inside. It's in a place where it's supposed to be, the womb. The fourth difference is direct contact. You see, the baby is not in direct contact. Well, parasites are in direct contact. The baby, the unborn baby, has a placenta that it interfaces with, with the mother. This placenta, the mother, and the baby are actively trying to keep this baby alive well and preparing it for birth eventually. The fifth difference is, is if the parasite fights to feed. The unborn, again, is a participant in the process. The mother, the placenta, and the baby do want the baby to stay alive. The parasite is not that way. The parasite wants to stay there for long term and it does not want to leave while the host wants it to leave. In addition, the baby is not going to stay there forever. It's designed to be born after nine months. The sixth and the last distinction between a parasite and the unborn baby is this. It weakens reproduction. Parasites usually, when they invade a host, weakens the reproduction of the host. Does it the same way in the unborn? Well, I'll let you answer that. So we're going through the process of procreation here. Do you think that's weakening reproduction? All right, so I would challenge you the next time you hear someone say that the baby or unborn babies or the fetus is a parasite, I would encourage you to challenge that because that's very bad thinking. Not only is it inaccurate, it's wrong, but it categorizes a human being as an animal, a parasite. And this is concerning. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like below. In addition, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos like this. Also, don't forget to share this on Facebook, Twitter, and any other social media platform if you would like to see more people seeing this video. All right, guys, thank you for coming on board. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Go out, give your world Christ.